Okay, so these three sunscreens are so great. And where summer is among us, finally, I am really excited to share these three sunscreens with you because they are awesome. One you can use as a makeup, which I am using today. I use it always in the summertime as my foundation. It is crazy, it is awesome. I know I'm not getting any premature aging from it because I'm protecting my skin from the sun. It doesn't cause any irritation. And it is like a shade that would be pretty good for like all skin tones, except for like porcelain. It covers well, it is so great. Then I have one that is amazing for kids. Your kids always need to wear a sunscreen. And then the other one is also another face sunscreen, but it is a little bit more tinted white because it is the zinc oxide sunscreen. So if you don't want to look like Casper the Ghost, you can always blend it in with your moisturizer in the mornings and you know that your skin is going to be protected. Let's get on to the video. All right guys, it is Latavia. I am so happy that you are here. It has been a long time and I am so excited for summer. This is the time I become a Nazi though. I am like a Nazi when it comes to sunscreen, when it comes to me wearing it, when it especially comes to my little kids wearing it. They need sunscreen all the time. Every year a friend calls me and they're freaking out because their kid just got a bad sunburn and they're wondering why because they used the spray stuff and it didn't work and now they have hives and a really bad sunburn. So I'm telling you right now, there's good and bad sunscreens out there. I really wanna teach people that it's not about the brand per se of the sunscreen that you're buying, but about the ingredients. So there's two ingredients that you need to look for. That's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And those two ingredients right there will most likely never ever give you a sunburn. So these three sunscreens I'm going to share with you has those ingredients in it, either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. And all of the ingredients in these are non-toxic, non-chemical, they're not going to irritate the skin, they're just from natural sources when it comes to the ingredient list which is fantastic. That is what I like. So no worries with toxic chemicals in these products. So I wanna share the first one with you, and this is my foundation that I'm wearing. It is amazing, guys, but this is the Stream 2C Tinted Sunscreen. So this has 8.8 um, .8 titanium dioxide in it, and it really helps against sunburn, and all of the ingredients in here are fantastic. Okay, so this is SPF 30, and I'm gonna show you the tint to it. It's pretty cool. Now I'm really dark, I have olive skin tone, so I tan up really well in the summertime. Not my face, obviously, because I protect it, but I'm going to show you how cool the tint is. What I really like about this too, is it's so opaque and like really full coverage. So it only takes a tiny bit, like very tiny to cover where you want it to cover. So I put it on my arm and I'm just going to blend it in. See, look at that. That is insane. What's really cool about this too is if you don't like how opaque it is in full coverage, you can always blend it in with a moisturizer of your choosing in the mornings. So you can do that as like a BB cream, making your own little CC or BB cream. And the trick is to use a brush to stipple it in. So all I'm doing is I'm stippling. And if you try and like rub it in with your fingers, it'll start to get all weird. So that's the part that I was doing, you know, a year ago when I tried it. And then this year I'm like, I'm gonna try it again. It has great coverage. So now you stipple it in and it looks like seamless, right? You can't even see it. It looks amazing and it covers a lot. So if you have acne and you don't want those acne scars to get worse in the sun, because they do, then this is fantastic because it acts as a foundation plus an amazing sunscreen. 
And you know what the sun does? Too much sun causes premature aging, right? It causes scars, it causes enlarged pores, it causes redness of the skin, and we don't want those things. So that is what I'm wearing today, and in the summertime, that is all I wear. I just kind of use it right here to cover where I need it to cover. And then I actually use this next one that I'm gonna talk about, the Mad Hippie, on my forehead and on my chin and neck. Mad Hippie is one of my favorite brands. They have great, great products. This one also is SPF 30, but since it has 16% zinc oxide, it is bright white. Okay, so you shake it, I said I have pretty dark skin, but that's pretty white. Like it looks like white paint. And when you blend it in, still looking like white paint. <laughs> like I said, it's like, then you keep blending it, blending it. Now my skin looks kind of white, but you can tell that it does blend in really well until it's pretty much gone. See that? So you can keep blending it in or also use this in your moisturizer, blending it in and then putting it on your face. Mad Hippie is great and what I really like about this is it's definitely more of a matte finish. So it does do a great job as kind of like a makeup primer before you put your makeup on. It does give like a nice matte finish, not shiny at all, which I really like. And then another thing I like about this is because it is easily blendable, even though it's pretty white when it goes on, it's pretty blendable. Also, I don't know if you knew this, but if you do struggle with acne, zinc oxide kind of has a drying effect on the skin. So it's really great for people that are suffering with acne. And I don't know about you guys, but I still have some breakouts. And so I love using this just because I know that the zinc oxide is going to help my blemishes disappear that much faster. Okay, on to the next. So my favorite sunscreen for my kids is called Badger, okay? And this is the Clear Zinc. So this has 22.5% zinc oxide in it. That's a lot of zinc. So it's going to give you really high coverage and it's going to protect your kids from the awful rays of the sun, okay? So UVB protection, UVA. And this one is SPF 40. It is water resistant up to 80 minutes, give or take. I always just kind of take a look at their skin when they're swimming and if the whitish effect of, this, of the skin is almost gone, then obviously I, I will reapply. This is also reef friendly. Uh, a lot of chemical type sunscreens, banana boat sunscreens, they really cause a lot of havoc on reef life and the ocean in general because of the horrible ingredients that they're using. And so that is why I like more non-toxic natural zinc oxide or titanium dioxide sunscreens because it does not hurt the ocean or the ocean life. Okay, so this one is definitely a little bit more on the shiny side. That's why I use it for my kids because they really don't care. I'm gonna put some on my hand. So this one is clear zinc, which means that they're using non-coated zinc oxide to make it less white, okay? So they do have in this brand just regular zinc oxide cream which is fine, they're both going to work the same, but if you don't want your kid to look like Casper the Ghost all summer long, <laughs> then you can get the clear zinc, okay? So I'm gonna keep blending this, and you probably, in the camera, cannot tell whether or not it's shiny, but it does have a little bit of shininess to it, and that's the only reason why I don't use it. I 100% will use it on my shoulders if I'm swimming, or other parts of my body, but I'm not gonna use it on my face. It's a little bit too shiny and it wouldn't do well underneath makeup. But again, if you blend this one in, then the whitish effect disappears. 
It is an amazing brand. I've told lots of my clients, friends, family about it. When I used to teach as an aesthetics instructor, I would tell my students to get Badger sunscreen because it is amazing. Another sunscreen that I love for my kids is Green Goddess. I do not have that here to show you, but I will put that in the description box below along with these ones. I really hope that that will help you out this summer. Avoid those sunburns and please protect your children. Always put their sunscreen on at least 20 minutes before they go outside. I hope you guys have an amazing summer and be safe and I will catch you guys next time.